Hello students. So in today's informative practices online class, I'll cover the topic web browsers. With introduction, I'll give you commonly used web browsers. We will I will explain you web browser settings is what I can I explain you add-ons and plugins and cookies. So these I'll cover in this video. So let's start first web browser. A web browser takes you anywhere on the internet letting you see text image and videos from anywhere in the world this is the working of the web browser here only with the web browser we can see the contents of a website or a web page we need a web browser for that purpose website is having a text images videos and so many other files so to see what is there in these or to communicate with others we need a web browser either we work on a computer or we want to see the website on a mobile phone or in any other gadget we need a web browser here is the one picture i have taken from the mozilla's firefox in which they have explained the web browser it this definition i will also take it from the mozilla firefox so now i switch over to the next topic commonly used web browsers there are hundreds of web browsers available but here you see few of them i have given so these are the most popular or mostly used web browsers nowadays google chrome is there mozilla firefox is there safari which is a apple product internet explorer opera mini and many more are there in the list so all these web browsers provide us different kind of facility one is common that they browse our website okay now i switch over to the next browser settings every internet browser has settings you can change including privacy setting search engine preferences we can give autofill and auto complete behavior and many more we can customize with the help of settings so this settings provide us to make our privacy high search engine preferences we can give so all we can done with the help of browser settings now here i have taken example of a google chrome to access the setting menu in the google chrome follow the steps below what are those steps first we need to open a google chrome second step in the upper right corner click on customize and control google chrome icon this type of icon is visualized on upper right corner of a browser three vertical dots we can call it so that is visible we need to click on them and we get a list of buttons list of our menu items in these items i have we have to select settings basically and then we can customize our web browser as per our requirement i'll show you this for that i open the google chrome here you see that this button is there customize and control google chrome when i click on this there we said uh, see that new tab new windows so many options are there but this is for the settings button so as i click on this so we can get the different options regarding the settings autofill option is there privacy and security is there appearance is there search engine priority we can give default browser setting is there startup setting is there and some advanced settings are also there in the same way Mozilla Firefox provide us, Opera Mini provide us, and other browsers also provide us a setting option. Now again, I switch over to the slide. Now next, add-ons and plugins. Here you see this is the icon mostly used for add-ons or plugins. Different browsers using different type of icon. So what is add-ons basically or plugin in computing? A plugin or plugin. add in add in this way it is written sorry comma is not there add on 
or add on or add on in this way all these terms are same the purpose of these terms is so it is a software component that adds a specific feature to an existing computer program what is add on what is a plugin they add a specific feature to an existing component program we are using a browser either mozilla firefox we use google chrome opera mini we can add different add ons in that one mostly in firefox add ons word is used but in google chrome plugins word we can use so plugins we can uh, we can add extra features to the existing browsers likewise we can select the different langu uh, language or different type of add ons are there flash player is there basically we want to add a fl flash player so that we can see the video we can run the videos live so these are the add ons an add on is a software extension that add extra feature to a program for example mozilla firefox a popular web browser supports add ons such as a google toolbar ad blocker is there a web developer tool is there all these we can use as an add on or a plugin in these browsers clear so what they do they do simple thing they add a specific features to an existing browser or existing computer program so this is about all about the add ons and plugins now in the next video cookies the next topic is cookies so what cookies is cookies are small piece of information website stores on your computer it is a small piece of information website stores on your computer this is the most thing important thing cookies only contain bits of text not anything else the text can be a user id session id or other text so sometime we log in on a some website so that information is stores in the form of the cookies also session id which uh, the time we depend time we uh, perform on that web page that is the session id then we again need to open it to it refresh it itself or any or other text files also likewise we set the particular uh, language for the particular site that stores in the form the cookies so instead of going to directly to the browser server request first the browser checks its cookies and it sets these things into our website or web page so for example web page can be configurable a web page could have a hide link that hides a certain elements on the page the page can save these settings on your computer with a cookies so sometime there are some hidden file pages are see the hidden elements of a html are there so that are stored in our uh, own computer or where they are stored they are stored in the form of cookies when you load the page in the future the page can examine the cookies and automatically hide the element so instead of going uh, with the help of this example it is clear that instead of going to the server again for that settings the browser do uh, first what it checks its cookies and uh, whatever the setting is performed by us earlier that automatically be included in our page by the browser clear so that is the working of the cookies so this is all about this complete